having you in at the moment is a wonderful opportunity to talk about a skill set that most bowlers I don't think would want to put their hand up, but you did. You knew you were going to bowl the last over uh, against the Perth Scorchers. Meg Lanning was on a roll. Nicole Bolton was out in the middle. The Scorchers needed 13 off six. I want to get your thoughts firstly at the start of the over. Most importantly, was it about restricting boundaries? Yeah, um, obviously with them needing 12 off the off the final over, they they needed to hit multiple boundaries that, that over. So any a dot or a one or two would were more than content with. Okay, so Nicole Bolton to begin with on strike, the single. So you're happy to start with, aren't you? Yeah, happy, happy there. <laughs> yeah. It does bring Meg Lanning on strike. What's the line and length you're looking for? I had the offside up, so I had to go in quite tight into a into a middle and length stump. So you just got it slightly wrong and you can't do that to someone in the class of Meg Lanning. No, yeah, I was kicking myself after that one came out of the hand. Um, obviously gave her a bit of width and she um, was able to put it away. So your adjustment then is to go follower? Yeah. Go straighter, which she did on this occasion. She's picked up two runs here. So then they needed eight from eight to four to six from three. Same field here? Yep. Um, I went a little bit quicker there and, and tried to try to cramp her up a bit and wanted her to hit it out to long on, but she obviously hit it too well and it, it was able to evade the fielder. And you've got your key players in the key areas on the onside at the moment, haven't you? Yep, Georgia Wareham and Danny White are our two best fielders, so we love to have them out at Cow Corner and long on and, and that square leg sort of region. OK, so the second last ball was a dot. So then it comes down to two off two. And also you're now thinking super over, aren't you? Yes, yeah, that does come into into your thought um, but yeah with the sort of the last ball I, I was planning on sort of going a little after the, the ball before I took the pace off I wanted to go in a little bit quicker and try to York her but I've missed by a couple of centimetres and, and Meg's made me pay. <laughs> you said it's just a couple of centimetres though that's how close it is isn't it? Yeah and that's that's the difference with you especially with a Yorker it's such a fine line um, if you miss it it becomes a slot ball yep. um, so which makes it easy to hit so yeah unfortunately I wasn't able to do the job <laughs> for the girls on the weekend. And then the very next day you Playing the sixes, it comes down to the last over again. You put your hand up one more time. I guess the big question now is, if the Renegades get into that situation again, are you still putting your hand up? Well, I don't know if Jess Luffin will come to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've had two fouls over the weekend, but no, I love bowling under pressure in, in those big moments. Um, and as I said, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do my job over the last two games. But yeah, I'd love to have that opportunity again if it was if it was to arise and if Jess um, trusted me with the ball in that last over again. I'm sure she will. Do you feel any better after that therapy session? With no, you? I don't. Okay. <laughs> it was quite traumatic watching that. Actually. Ha, ha, ha.